Let me tell you my story, please. Please listen, watch. I know you are busy. You have a lot of other videos to watch, but I think this story will resonate with you. You will find that this story is your story. You will find that some something Sandeep Patil is talking about. It's it's connected with me. And most of the students, most of the people have gone through all these things which I have gone through. In my school days, I was never a intelligent student. Ha! Huh, up to first or second standard, I was good. But after that, I don't know what happened. I was not good in my academics. I, I lost my flow. I lost my touch. And of course, in school, if you are not intelligent, teachers don't give any attention towards you. The same thing happened with me also. I was neglected by teachers. I was neglected by my friends. I mean, I was not into the group of elite and intelligent students. I was not a prodigy. I, I remember, even I remember, sometimes I would eat my tiffin alone. So I was not popular in my school. You can say I was like uh, chastised. I was deserted socially. Uh, kept apart socially I was deserted I remember all those days while speaking right now I can remember I, I can it comes in front of my eyes that small Sandeep uh, with his uniform and all I remember all those things I never participated in any uh, elocation or speech competition or any gathering or any kind of competitions during my school days. No teacher asked me, no teacher felt like they should uh, ask me and push me and they never, no one thought that I have that talent, I have the capability. They never asked me, I never went. So during my school days also the same thing, I mean, uh, nothing, I, I never went on the stage. Somehow I finished my schooling, I got into college, 11th and 12th. Again, the emotional personality I told you, it haunted me. In 12th, I was studying for my uh, 12th and I decided that I have to get into good engineering college. I studied very hard for the first two months, but then I don't know what happened to me. I started losing my control, my emotional control. And I started getting scary. I started losing interest in my studies. And I couldn't comprehend what was happening to me. I couldn't realize what was happening in my mind. What what was the instability? What is? What are the thoughts? What I'm going through? I couldn't comprehend. I couldn't read what is happening in me. Fortunately, one one teacher suggested suggested me one book. I bought that book, and that book changed my life. I finished that book. I that book changed my life. That's the reason why today I tell all my students to be a reader. And this is a part of our training. I, I insist everyone to be associated with books. They help you. They help you to not only to read or to be a better communicator. They also help you to be a stronger person. I think um, it's only a matter of time when a great book falls in your hand and your life will be changed. Fortunately, I got that in 12th and everything changed in my life. But in engineering, Again, my low confidence, my low self-esteem, my weak emotional personality followed me because I, I didn't know how to handle all these things. I was good in academics, but my weak emotional personality affected my academics and I failed in engineering. In second year, I failed in my engineering and it was a disaster for me. Again, I was depressed. Again, I, I went into what I can call emotional roller coaster ride. At the same thing, I never participated in any competitions, in gathering. I, I wanted to participate in a cricket, but they didn't allow me. I never went. I was just thinking of going. I remember I wanted to participate in one gathering, in one, in one um, event. But I did not have that stomach to go and ask. I never did that. They did not ask me. And I finished my engineering in five years. I told you I failed one year. I was not popular in my in my friend circle. My friends, they didn't laugh at my jokes. I always used to feel inferior. I always used to feel I am not uh, that what I show. I am an imposter. I don't belong here. Others are better than me. They are smarter than me. They are better communicators. This was my college life. Another problem was that in my college is communication in English. I never ever spoke in English. I never went on the stage. I wanted to anchor. I wanted to be on the dais, but I couldn't 
gather that courage i couldn't ask my teacher to allow me and they never asked i mean as you know in engineering colleges they will not come and offer you anything you have to go i remember there was one guy who was from kashmir and he was amazing i think he was a great orator every 3 years when consecutively he was our senior he would be there on the stage he was very popular amongst the girls you know all the boys i was nowhere in the picture in fact my teachers my friends they even didn't recognize that i was a part of the class i was so much alone so much hermit so much introvert i always stood away from the limelight i never went in front of the class i never spoke to any teacher i never went to any teacher's cabin i was i was like i just want to be away from all 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 the limelight i never went there this was my story i think you can relate this i i went to through all these things finished my engineering and then the problem started real problem started poor job poor salary poor emotional health poor communication skills now with all these things what job you are going to get of course horrible and that was what was happening with me again books came to my rescue <laughs> that's the reason why i buy so many books why they help me no teacher i lost my dad my mom was not in that condition to guide me no uncle no brother alone i decided to fight but along with these these difficulties books were there with me all those great authors were there with me they helped me i studied hundreds and hundreds of books on psychology i i studied a lot i understood the psychology i started working on communication skills because i was poor in that how to speak fluently i decided i worked on that and today i can tell you on my channel you can see all these videos how to speak fluently without boring grammar because i know that there are many people who are desperate to improve their fluency but they are studying grammar and they don't know the right methods oh they have been deceived by other trainers they are teaching them grammar and grammar and grammar and they are going nowhere their career is suffering no growth in their career no growth in their life opportunities are lost they have the talent but they can't express that talent they they have the fear they are studying grammar since many years but no change i studied all these things in very detail and today i can proudly tell that i have developed a system a mechanism where you don't need to, where you don't need to study any grammar but you can speak better an influential and very uh, impactful english now on my channel you can see public speaking videos those who want to be a good public speaker because i was never a good public speaker but today in this last 15 20 years i have become a prolific public speaker and i have helped hundreds and thousands of people to overcome the phobia of public speaking i help them to be better communicators on the stage i use psychology for that i use science for that i studied social psychology i studied anxiety i studied phobias i studied ocds i studied all these things and now i am in a position to help my students to be greater communicator on the stage it's such a happiness it's amazing well one more thing somewhere i believe that i need to work on emotional personality and now on my channel i regularly upload videos on emotional personality i am a student of psychology i am not a psychologist i am a student of psychology and i help my students scientifically to work on their thoughts work on their emotions work on themselves understand how the mind works understand how to work on your emotions how to control the emotions how to handle stress how to work with depression how to work with phobias how to work with low self esteem low self confidence how to work on all these emotional weaknesses which we have proudly i can tell you proudly i can tell you i don't know i don't have millions of subscribers you know but i can definitely tell that whatever the subscribers are there they message me personally they tell me that my channel is impacting their lives in a positive way and that is my success that is what i wanted actually and i'm getting that hope this video will help you hope my channel will help you 
hope my videos will help you to be a better communicator fluent speaker and be emotionally stable and calm thank you now you can take your decision whether you want to subscribe my channel or you want to leave my channel before ending i can tell you all the information all the stuff which i speak here is authentic realistic true and is the result of my study cuz i believe in trust and transparency that is my value thanks friends for watching this video take care goodbye